and it's the fluke, the soft jerk bait, the minnow bait, whatever you want to call it, on a jig head, on a ball head. And uh, you know, this one is great because this one is nose weighted, and that weight of that head is really going to allow it to get down on the bottom, toward the bottom. But we're going to have that same look, right? You heard it on the other two. The key to this bait is that left to right movement, that side twitching. Um, with the ball head, it gets a little less erratic, but it's still left right, and we're still going to make those pauses to help keep that bottom contact. Uh, when those fish get low, a little more suspended or, or near the bottom, this is going to be a good technique. You know, we've got kind of the day that I think this is going to work. Um, we've got a cold front here. Uh, water temperature dropped way down. We also have, if you look on the bank here in a second, we have water that's falling. Pushes a lot of those fish out toward the bottom, suspend it. Um, so let's fish that one. Same deal. You know, you heard me in that last one talk about straight fluorocarbon and, and why. And I love straight fluorocarbon for this one as well because fluorocarbon sinks, it's dense, it's heavy. It's going to allow us to get that bait down, the whole cast. And then equipment wise, same exact rod and reel that we used for the weighted swim bait hook fluke. That's a 7.4 to 7.6 medium heavy, spinning or casting, doesn't matter. Here's that same one. This is a 7.4 medium heavy, 8.0 to 1 uh, Revo on there. And here it goes, guys. Great bank to do it. We're back down a bank that's a little deeper, a little more uh, scattered cover on this bank. Going to make that long cast with this one? We'll let it sink right to the bottom. We're going to watch that line as it falls. Look at this. Trying to let it get down. Boom. Line bellows out. That means the bait's on the bottom. Once the bait gets on the bottom, I'm going to give it little, little side twitches with a pause. Waiting for that bait to get back down, to settle back down. Boom. Line bellows out. Little twitches. Watching that line on the pause. Watching it fall. Boom. Line bellows out. I'm kind of going to do that as long as I'm in the zone of the fish, but I really want you to pay attention to the twitches. You saw a little more dramatic twitches with the weightless fluke. You saw dramatic twitches with that swim bait hook fluke, but watch this one. When it hits the bottom, look at that. I'm just kicking it. I'm making little kicks to the side, letting it fall back because I want that bait darting. I want it coming off the bottom a little, but I want it staying in that bottom zone toward the bottom. So here we are, we're in, uh, let's see, eight and a half, nine feet of water, 10 foot of water. I want that bait staying down toward the bottom. Little twitches, pause, watching the line fall on a semi-slack line. Little twitches, pause, left, right, left, right. All right, we're going to catch one on this. There's just way too many fish out here. In the next three casts, it's going to happen. What do you think? Yeah. You believe it? There he goes. There he goes. That's a good one, too. Oh, my gosh. Small twitches. Small twitches. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Ah! Small twitches! Hey now! Wow! On the bottom. I mean laying on the bottom, y'all. Wow! Hey! Hey! What the? Dude, look at that!